This is Maria. And this is Hester. And together they are the <laughs> Concert <laughs> Counselors. <laughs> The past three months we have brought you tips on various aspects of ensemble playing, hoping that it will get better and better each day. However, <laughs> we are also aware that in ensemble playing, like in life, sometimes things really go wrong. We can tell you after many years of concert playing that no matter how experienced you are, no matter what the circumstances are, there is always that little bit of risk inherent to human life and things may go wrong. Therefore, today we would like to give you some tips that will help you um, if you or one of your colleagues gets lost while playing. Because if you solve this elegantly, your potential audience may not even notice what went wrong. Getting lost may be the most feared accident for any ensemble player and any musician. When you are on stage and everything sounds so beautiful and suddenly it doesn't anymore. To prevent the situation, it's a very good idea to set some checkpoints in the music you play. Checkpoints are places in which you can easily hear if everything is still okay and adjust if it's necessary. So for example, the endings of phrases and the endings of sections and pieces are very good checkpoints. Here is the first half of a minuet by Telemann and Maria and me have decided upon the following three checkpoints. The most obvious one is the last bar of the section. If we don't end together, we will automatically wait for each other, since this is our resting point in the music. Right on the downbeat of bar 5, the top line will give a little cue up and down. And right on bar 9, the bottom line will give a little cue up and down as well. And in this way, if anything goes wrong, you can find your way back easily. Besides setting some checkpoints in our music, we usually follow two golden rules when something goes wrong. And the first rule is, if the music sounds strange and you know or you suspect that it's you who's playing wrong, immediately stop playing and join again at the next checkpoint or anywhere as long as you feel confident enough. Rule number two, if the music sounds strange, but you know that you are right, stay calm and play on. Do not adjust, do not let the others confuse you, especially when you are playing with three, four or five other parts, the ones who are right need to stick together. seem so important from the musical point of view, but actually it is. When something goes wrong on stage, please don't show it with your facial expression or any other weird body movement, because it won't help the situation and it won't solve the problem. And moreover, it's much more obvious for your audience that something goes wrong. Depending on your own degree of confidence, the difficulty of the piece and the time you have to prepare it, you have to make a very important decision, which is, are you going to play the piece from a score, which has the advantage that you can see what the other parts are doing, so you can sometimes check, or are you going to play from a part to which you can add all kinds of notes, checkpoints and cues to make sure that uh, it doesn't go wrong. Or you decide to play the piece from memory, which requires that you know your part excellently, but also what the others are doing. 
we would like to encourage you to get lost during your rehearsals, which means uh, that you practice pieces that are especially risky in this aspect, you play them from beginning until the end, and you agree that you are not going to stop whatever happens. And then after the horrible disaster, we discuss what went wrong in a very constructive and positive way. Because remember, and let's face it, we are all humans and we make mistakes. Our 30 seconds tip of today involves actually a little bit of research on your part. We are recording this episode on the 10th of May. Uh, which means that we are in the end of the academic season of this year. And that also means that a lot of recorder students at the conservatoires everywhere are going to have their final recitals very soon. If you like the recorder, don't miss this opportunity uh, to listen to young professionals uh, on their crucial day of their final exams and support them. How can you find out about final exams near you? Uh, first of all, of course, you can check the website of a conservatoire near you because very often they actually announce final exam dates. Or check the recorder groups on Facebook and look out for their events. Or you can actually contact the recorder teacher at the conservatoires near you and ask if there are public final exams that you can watch. Have fun! Good luck to all final exam candidates! Good luck! Don't forget to inscribe! And if you have questions or comments for us, Contact us here! Didn't you say inscribe? Yeah, but you said comments. Hello! Okay. Well, bye bye! bye. bye. <laughs>